to pick up Brennan. He hasn't been in school very long today, um, but he has a morning doctor's appointment. Last night at water polo practice, he got into a, like a scuffle, I'm not sure, not a fight, but like he's playing water polo, with one of his teammates, they were scrimmaging, and he believes that he cracked his rib. So um, I had him like sort of sleep on it, here and let me know in the morning if it was still painful and he said yes this morning he said he could feel the spot where he believes it's fractured so I called the doctor and we're gonna go see the doctor and potentially get x-rays and figure out there's not much I don't think that you can do for a rib I think you just wait for it to heal but I guess we should know whether or not he can play water polo he has a tournament this weekend and he has a tournament I think the next weekend too. What'd the doctor say? Uh, it could be muscular, it could be burn, it could be... Uh, could be bone bruise, bone bruise or fracture. Bone bruise, fracture or muscular. So now they sent us to... Yeah, X-ray, so here we go. All right, Brennan got his X-ray. Yep. They, did it hurt? Yeah, they actually punched me before. <laughs> but sometimes they put you like in weird positions that you're like, ow, 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 ow. And now, yeah. okay. All right, do you think we'll be, oh, I'm sorry, was that hard? Will you be able to read them? I'm kidding. Well, according to my expert opinion, <laughs> this is obviously what your ribs look like. Oh. Glaf Fortuna Mass. <laughs> What'd you call it? I don't even know what angle this is at. I'm guessing this is your spine. That does look like a spine. Mm -hmm. That's your shoulder and that looks like ribs. Where do you see ribs? Oh, long hair. So wait, oh wait. Turn this, this says MLG, so I think you spin it the other way. There we go. I'm gonna look at it that way. Very good analysis. Oh, I don't know. It's almost funky down there. Does it? That doesn't look like this. This one doesn't look like those ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Which one does not look like the other? One of these things is not like the others. Oh, look, if you hold it up, you can see it better. Ah. Ah. Here we go. That's where my lung is, all the dark stuff, I think. Okay, so what is, oh, there's your arm, right? Is that your arm? Oh, look at your ribbies. Look at those lats. Ooh. Nice. You work hard for those. Okay, so which one do you think? Wait, like is that your? Okay, so you were thinking it was like in here, right? It was like. Gosh, how does how do people? Right here, I think. Yeah, I don't know what to think. I don't know, man. That's why the doctor calls us. Mm, okay. Hello, this is Jill. Hi, Susan, how are you? That's perfect. All right, thanks so much, Susan. All right, take care, bye-bye. All right, Mike, so that was the doctor. She said that they did not hear from the radiology place, but um, the doctor took a look, the doctor in the practice took a look at the x-ray, didn't see anything glaring, but that doesn't mean that there's not a hairline fracture, so she wants him to stay home from practice tonight, and she'll call me in the morning. All right. There you have it. Did you see the um, Did you see the films? No. They're kind of cool. I wish I was able to read them. Oh, we could have Dr. Kate look at them. You have to hold them up to the light. Yeah, that's what real doctors do. Yeah. Cool. I know, but I don't. I don't know. I, I can't make much else of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my my doctor degree, my medical degree brought me. There's his arm, <laughs> and I know that that should be switched. There we go. That's the only thing I really know. Mm. Yeah. That's, right. Looks like he's got a spine. Yeah, that's what I was pointing out earlier to Brennan. I think that's your spine. <laughs> <laughs> we are hey, good. Man, I see something in there. It's like a bug in there, like right there, right? <laughs> Poor Brennan. I got this nailed. We do have this nailed. I don't know why we pay all that money to go to the doctor. Hey, Ryan. Uh -huh. Ryan's home. I'm so glad to see you're spending your time cleaning your room. Look at this. My right, guy, yes, come on. I know, I know. Remember we talked about this. I know, I'm just, I don't know. 
You're just relaxing after school. I think that's fine. Thank you. You're gonna have do a little math here in a few minutes, but after that, clean your room. I'll give you math. One dirty shoe plus one dirty shoe plus one dirty sock plus eighteen thousand dirty sweatshirts equals how many dirty clothes? All of them. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm fine. Are you sure? I have so much to do. Okay. All right. Want me to help you? Yeah. You know what my mom says? Take it one thing at a time. Actually, you know what helps me a lot? Why don't we write a list of all the things you need to do? So you can sort of get it out. It's not jumbled up in your head, and we can check them off as you go. Want to do that? Come with me. Okay. Let's do it. Grab your agenda. Uh, or we'd rather just have a piece of paper. Just a piece of paper. All right, let's do it. Come on in the kitchen. All right, so we took some time and we wrote down a list for Ryan and everything that he needs to do. And then we numbered it. We put little boxes next to it so he can check it off. That's Dad's thing. You always have to put boxes, right, Mike? A always gift to yourself. A little gift to yourself every time you check it off. So he has six items that he needs to do. And in there, he wrote in rest, which is one of the things, because he's really tired and a little overwhelmed. So resting will give him a good amount of time to just sort of hang out. So he's going to do a little bit of resting now, and then he's going to do his math, and then he's going to rest again a little bit after math. Then he's going to clean his room. Dad's going to help him eat dinner. That's like a little bit of relaxation time. Because then after all that's done, then he knows at 8 o'clock he can start his homework. And he'll do his language arts and his science homework at 8 o'clock for about an hour and a half. Then he's done around 9.30. We can wiggle around a little bit. By that time, everybody will be sort of home doing their thing. It'll be good. So we definitely find it when you're overwhelmed, write a list. And... I need to take my own advice sometimes because I do get overwhelmed. But then I write my list. <laughs> All right, you guys. I heard I let him in, and he ran in with a mouse. And the mouse, we've been chasing the mouse around. Oh, there it goes. His mouth? Don't, sorry. Don't go over there. Is it in his mouth? Yes. Okay, sorry. Oh, so so Edward has it in his mouth, and he wants to... <laughs> We're kind of scaring Edward accidentally. Edward, oh. Edward, come here. Edward. There it is. You got it? Oh, no, he doesn't have it in his mouth right now. Damn. It's under your pen. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> not for me, dude. Yeah, it's not really that funny for Brennan. It was in my bag. Uh, it ran right into my backpack. Okay. All right. I think Edward's looking for it. He is looking for it. Edward, go get it. Brennan, what if it runs out the other side? Wait, close, good. The, close the door. Right? Yeah, let's shut that door. Okay, Edward, come on, buddy. Can I close that? Where'd it go? You, you can hear it. Oh Edward, you should be able to smell it. Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Oh no! No mouse! No mouse! <laughs> no, I mean, no, exactly, no mouse. Go get him! Go get him, buddy! Go get him! Good idea, Brennan. There's always cheese. Yes, you're right. Worst comes to worst, and it's gone. Then. I wonder, do do mice play dead? Maybe. No. No. Edward, where'd he go? What the Dude, find the freaking mouse you brought in the house. <laughs> it's like, she is pretty mad. I think he'd be able to find the mouse. There's Edward, hold on. He's looking for it. Oh. Oh. Set? You got set? You got it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ow. Are you full? Oh, oh bread in your rib. Oh, shoot. There's just that on there. You got, Edward, you have to get him. She's in my closet, I'm gonna be so mad. Can you put your. Yeah, put like he can go into really small holes, but so maybe even want to stuff a blanket. He can't go upstairs, right? No. Okay, good. <laughs> and the fact that Edward's not even in the room anymore. He's with that. I know. Yeah. But does that mean that? that do you dark. think he ate him? It could be anywhere. Really. <laughs> He's licking his chops. <laughs> do you think he could have eaten him in one's follow? Dude, no. what if he just? What if he did? Did you really? But then would he still be looking around? Look at him looking. Oh. 
right, I have cheese. Cheese. Oh. And a broom. Cheese and a broom. What is that? Right, Edward, come on in, buddy. Wait, there he goes. Okay, watch him. Watch him. Oh, 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 oh
Right. Gets it done every year. Gets it done every, yep. That's right. Ryan, so we discussed um, offline, I think, but we discussed what some type of incentive would be for Ooh, finishing your I list mean, before you go to bed. And what is it? Uh, you have a coupon for like Chick fil A or something. Or like a Chick fil A breakfast sandwich reward. Breakfast biscuit. Because why not? And then uh, it expires. Doctor's appointment. Yeah. And doctor's appointment. What, that, what does that mean? Chick fil A. Again. So we're going to go, because of the list, we're going to go to Chick-fil-A for breakfast so I can use my Chick-fil-A reward coupon and get you right. a free chicken biscuit sandwich. Then he's going to go to school. Then I'm picking him up early from school, take him to a doctor's appointment. And what do we do after every doctor's appointment we go to? Just did it today with Brennan. Chick-fil-A. So tomorrow is Chick-fil-A day. What did I share what made you happy today? Getting everything done. Mm-hmm. Feel, feel accomplished, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I'm gonna share what made me happy today. What made me happy today was I think the dish of mint chocolate chip ice cream I'm about to eat. And huh. you finishing your thing. And... That's so crazy because I'm about to eat a dish. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. It's fine, it's fine. Ryan, it's fine. What? Ryan. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Where'd it go? He says he doesn't even like mint chocolate yeah. ice cream. Did Brennan eat it? Brennan! No, Brennan ate it. Oh, come on! Oh, All right, I'm gonna have to come up with a new what made me happy today. What made me happy today was spending time with Brennan. I hope that he doesn't have a fracture. We won't find out till tomorrow. Uh oh. All right, you guys, so comment down below what may, oh, maybe you should do it. Why don't you take us out, babe? Follow me, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.